polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, is a condition that affects roughly one in five women, and now, scientists think they know why. Just in time for National Women's Health Week, a study published in Nature Medicine found a link between hormonal imbalance in the womb and PCOS, specifically prenatal exposure to a growth factor called anti-malarian hormone, AMH. The team, led by Paolo Giacobini at the French National Institute of Health and Medical Research, realized levels of AMH were 30% higher in pregnant women with PCOS than those without. Because there is a hereditary component to the condition, they decided to test whether or not women with this hormonal imbalance give birth to daughters with PCOS. It's a radical new way of thinking about polycystic ovary syndrome and opens up a whole range of opportunities for further investigation, explained Robert Norman from the University of Adelaide, Australia, reports New Scientist. For the study, the researchers injected pregnant mice with AMH so that they had a higher than normal concentration of the hormone. Indeed, they gave birth to daughters who later developed PCOS-like tendencies. These included problems with fertility, delayed puberty, and erratic ovulation. According to the researchers, the added AMH appeared to prompt the overstimulation of a particular set of brain cells called GnRH neurons, which are responsible for managing the body's testosterone levels. Hence, the offspring displayed higher levels of testosterone. The result, a masculinization of the exposed female fetus, and a PCOS-like reproductive and neuroendocrine phenotype by the time they reached maturity. But, excitingly, the team weren't just able to determine the cause of PCOS. They were able to reverse it, in mice, anyway. To do so, the researchers dosed the polycystic mice with an IVF drug called Cetrorelix, which made the symptoms to go away. This could be great news for the millions of women with the condition, often characterized by excessive hair growth, hair loss, acne, and obesity, though symptoms can vary from patient to patient. It is also the most common cause of infertility. Next up. The team is planning to trial the drug in humans. Tests are planned to take place later in the year. It could be an attractive strategy to restore ovulation and eventually increase the pregnancy rate in these women, said Giacobini, reports New Scientist. Thanks Rosie McCall for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com, once again that is www.atthismall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall, we want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice, that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now .com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.